got another torch in for testing. This time it's in from through night. It's the T10 V2, an AA or 14500 powered torch. I'm looking at the cool white and this comes in quite a nice presentation box, little metal tin. Open it up inside, all the items are here in that foam padding. So we'll have a look at the torch. It is quite a small torch as you'd expect for an AA. A lot of knurling on the body has to be said there's plenty of grip there and there's your side switch this one's different from the previous versions which evidently had a uh, base or tail clicky I haven't used that myself and you can see the base is magnetic on this so that's something which might appeal to some users you notice there we have a hole for a wrist strap if you want to attach one there isn't one included which isn't really surprising at the price and um, quite a nice feel on the switch just enough play we can push it down and feel it it's connecting on the contact so the LED on this is an XPG3 it's been fairly commonly used it's not the most favorite LED I've ever tried there's your AR coating on the lens now to get the battery into this you just unscrew the head there is some grease on there there's your contact point and if I shine a torch down inside you'll see there's the spring there so this is quite nicely made for the price it's not an expensive torch very much a pocket friendly size and here's your choice of batteries the 14500 protected is a bit longer as normal so it just takes a bit more pressure to push down the head to screw it in place there are unprotected ones around that are a bit easier and when i put an aa in there you'll see that's obviously a bit shorter so it goes in easier as well so no real complaints in terms of the build with the clip you have two positions you can put it head up or head down and I like that unfortunately though when I attached it I discovered that it didn't contact the body so that is one place where I think they need to adjust the design on the clip and there's your two spare o-rings pretty simple package as you'd expect here's your user guide which I will go through a bit later on put it on the screen for you and show you more detail UI on this is very simple, single press on and off and you push and hold to change through the power levels. It does have a mode memory but just for the two power settings. Uh, reason for that is probably because you have instant access to the Firefly mode which I'll just show you here. So push in and hold will take you straight to the Firefly and if you double press will take you straight to the highest output level and then if you double press again we'll go back to this go to the strobe mode so the only thing with that is you have to go through the high to the strobe but other than that it's not a bad user interface pretty simple there's no lockout on the switch though so you just have to turn the head slightly to give it a mechanical lockout the magnetic base is quite strong although I did find it slipped around on smooth surfaces like this fridge but for normal stuff out and about it seems to be strong enough to hold the torch with a battery inside it's not the case with every AA torch that I've looked at and there's the manual there quick look at that just note there's uh, they put this using a textured reflector when it's actually smooth water resistance test didn't see any problems half an hour and I'll show you the highest output at 550 lumens with a lithium ion battery as you can see it's quite bright then when you go to the AA obviously there's a significant drop in power it's still bright enough that I can see the shed so it's okay it's what you'd expect but there's your tint you'll notice the tint shift that you get with that LED so we'll run through a few beam shots and come back with a few thoughts at the end
few thoughts with the T10 V2. Quite a nice little torch. This is a cost effective pocket torch which will work quite well for a lot of people. There are a few things which I would like to see tweaked and adjusted. The first of those is the clip. Just to adjust the position on that so that it contacts the body or almost contacts it. The lithium ion output is very different from the nickel metal hydride AAs or alkaline so I would have liked it if that was a bit closer myself. For example the Firefly isn't that low on the lithium ion and the top two settings are quite similar as well. And I would have liked maybe a switch lockout on the side switch and there's a little bit of PWM on the low settings with the lithium ion battery. But other than that it's not a bad little torch. Magnetic base is quite useful. UI is fairly easy to grasp and it's a nice price. It's you know not an expensive torch, about $20. So it's the sort of torch that people will pick up as a handy pocket torch or something to keep in the car or around the house. So thanks for watching the review. Don't forget to stick around. I'll be doing some more torch reviews very soon. And thanks very much for watching.